The canny collar was invented by traditional Scottish horseman Brian Smith. The idea came from a bitless bridle that he'd invented to use on his stallion. My, my grandfather, my father, myself, my brother, have been in, involved with horses for years and years and years, extracting timber uh, from the forest, horse logging as we call it. And I always thought that uh, some people I've seen driving horses or were kind of hardened horses and it seemed to be they were always pulling the horse on the bit and the horse was shaking its head here and there and I thought I would like to design a bitless controller and I sat down one, and one day in the stable with my son and I uh, got a bit of rope out and my stallion was standing beside me and I just worked away quietly and a wee knot here and a knot there and eventually we come up with this bitless controller and it seems to work a treat. So what are the pressure points on the bitless bridle? Well, across the nose, as you see here, the knots on either side, uh, it's a continuous line that goes across his pole and down and when you put pressure here, the pressure comes behind the jaw, the knot's going across the nose and slight pressure on the pole coming down. And when you release the pressure, the pressure comes off. Once Brian had successfully developed a bitless bridle, he then realised the same principle might work on dogs. I was sitting in the house one night and my daughter came in, Claire, and uh, she had an unruly, well it wasn't unruly, it was just an, a, a boisterous dog and it came in and it was running about the living room and jumping over the chairs and the settees and that. And I says to Claire, Claire you'll, you'll have to get your dog under control. She says, I can't dad, it does this up the street as well. So I made a, a rope holder that I used for the horses, I made it smaller for the dog and I tried it on Bonnie and it worked perfect. Brian became aware that for the rope to stay secure on the dog's head, he needed to attach it to a traditional collar. Once he'd achieved this, the prototype for the canny collar was born. My design is not a head collar, it's a training collar, and it's basically a, a, an ordinary dog collar with a slip line going over the nose. When the dog pulls, the pressure goes on its nose, and uh, when he backs off, it just comes off his nose. So that's the pressure release system, and very little pressure from the owner is required. It was at this point that Brian realised he could help many more owners enjoy walking their dogs, but he couldn't do it alone. When I first met the county company, they came up one Sunday to Scotland, and I realised then that uh, I had taken the collar as far as I could have. So basically, with their knowledge, they were going to take it further, market it, and uh, what I've seen up to date is absolutely brilliant. I couldn't have visualised it going as as far as it's gone. So what is the potential for the canny collar? How far can the canny collar go? Well, I started off with a piece of string. So how long is a piece of string? 